guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today's video is going to be me running to the dollar store to get some yeah i guess diy organizational slash decorative things for my bathroom and also for my vanity but um this video is only going to be for my bathroom i'm if i find the stuff i need for my vanity that's going to be a separate video for like part two or just another video in general but i plan on going to get those two things today yeah i um i just wanted to take you guys along with me because i know you guys enjoy these types of videos whenever i do like um affordable type of hacks or whatever because you know don't get me wrong I like to spend I like to get high quality things um, for my home but it's also nice to know you can get that same quality with affordable options so I just want to show you guys that it is affordable options available and they can look just as cute as um, you know the high-end stuff so that's my goal today and let's just go ahead and get into this DIY hey guys I'm back from the Dollar Tree and um, I just wanted to show you guys like my bathroom before and after so you guys can just get an idea of the transformation and everything so keep in mind that I did recently move into this house so the bathroom doesn't have that much it's barely it's like an empty canvas so um, I'm I'm just gonna show you guys the before and after so when you walk into the bathroom um, I don't have a shower I mean I don't have a bathtub in here sadly but I need to get a different lens so I can like show you an overview but it's it's just a you know a very basic simple bathroom not too much going on I just have a you know one of these stand-up showers stall showers um the window right there and then the toilet so this is what we have to work with as i was cleaning out this bathroom i wonder if i'm the only one who thinks of stuff like this but you know how like bathroom it collects it collects dust and stuff like that so my pro my thought process is you know how everything is supposed to have a purpose? What's the purpose of dust? I'm sure if you Google it, which I'm not going to, so if you do end up Googling it, please let me know what you found out. But what is the freaking purpose of dust? What is its purpose? It just collects on shelves and objects. And I'm like, what are you here for? But that's my thought of the day. And um, I'm just gonna show you guys how I transform this bathroom on a budget so the first project that i made was these um containers that contain your cotton swabs and your q-tips and it's just a great way to organize your space and make it look clean and nice so the dollar tree has tons of different container options i specifically found these containers over by like the glassware and then they also have you know your cotton swabs your q-tips as well as your epsom epsom salt i always have a hard time saying that epsom salt <laughs> for your bath and then lastly i found these rub on stickers that you can use to um label your containers if you want to be extra ocd like me so after you're done filling up your containers with whatever you want to fill them up with whether they be cotton swabs q-tips whatever um you take these stickers and you cut off the letters that you want don't don't peel it off or separate it from the white back yet um you're going to do that later on. Just literally cut out the letters that you need to spell out um, your label. Once you have all your letters ready to go, you peel off um, the clear um, what it, plastic, I guess it is, off of the white backing. And then you put it onto the surface that you want to transfer the letter to. And you just rub really, really hard. And once you rub it hard enough, um, when you go to peel off the plastic, 
the letter will be stuck to the container and you got to be very careful because as soon as you lay it down sometimes you don't even have to rub it that hard it'll already start to come off so make sure when you place it down you have it in the exact placement that you want it in so I already had these floating shelves installed in my bathroom and I'm just going to line these containers up that have these different essentials in them just to kind of see you know how I want to line them up and once I line them up I think they look like so neat and clean and just nice and I also picked up some of these succulent plants um, from the Dollar Tree as well from the craft section and they just go nicely with these containers and I really like how they look the next section that I you know try to organize and decorate is the sink area this is where you wash your hands brush your teeth and I'm just gonna show you you know what I collected from the Dollar Tree to do this I grabbed a plastic container to store my toothpicks just because I want to keep it organized but also sanitary. And then you guys, the Dollar Tree has so many hygiene products from toothpaste, toothbrushes, deodorant, and really good name brand stuff. So make sure you check them out for that. And then they had the soap containers and toothbrush containers to make it look more cute. So after setting everything up, this is how it looks. Now, the wash your hand sign did come from Target, but that's just another thing like I mentioned. You, sometimes you have to combine um, nice things with cheap things, and then it makes it all look expensive. So the next decor piece that I made for my bathroom are these framed butterflies. And yes, you guys, I did this with $4.00. And you could probably sell these for like $10 a piece. But this is how I did it. So the Dollar Tree has tons of frames. But for this specific project, you want to get the ones that have a little bit of space between the front of the frame and the back of the frame. It has like a cardboard insert. And then I went to the sticker section and found like these... 3d butterfly stickers where they can like be pinched and they kind of like look like their wings are up and then I just took some black paint spray that I already had and sprayed all the butterflies and once I had them all sprayed I did let the sit overnight so they could be completely dry because if you don't they're going to transfer onto the glass so make sure that they're completely dry before moving on to the next step so it's now the next day and what i did was remove the backing off the picture frame and i took the picture that was already in the frame and used it to um, help me cut out the appropriate size of just a piece of printer paper that I'm going to use to actually stick the butterflies on. Then I took the butterflies and just stuck them right on the paper because they do have a sticky backing. And like I said, you can pinch them up a little bit so that way it looks like more 3D, like the butterflies are coming off the page. And then I just stick it right back in and this is how it looks. And I actually repeated this step twice, so I have two frames to hang up on my wall. So here's how they look up on my wall once I'm all done. They just go with the rest of the bathroom decor. And it looks like I spent more than $2 each on these frames. Now adding flowers to the bathroom just helps make it look more zen and peaceful to me. So that's our next project. So everyone knows that the Dollar Tree has tons of different flower selections, but I'm very cautious on which ones that I get because some can look a little cheap. Um, so I grabbed some flowers and also I grabbed some rocks as well as a container to put the flowers in. And the rocks just help keep them stabilized so that way they're not falling everywhere. So I just decided to fill up my glass container with some rocks first. 
Then I wanted to cut my flowers kind of short, so I used my scissors, but you guys, it's way easier if you have wire cutters, so definitely use that because that these scissors were horrible, hurt my hands really bad. But um, yeah, I just shortened them up so that way they could fit better for the glass container that I chose. After I was all done, I just sat the flowers along with some room spray that I did get from Target. Um, and again, like I said, sometimes when you just add a more expensive product next to a cheaper product, it makes the whole thing look nice. So this is what it's looking like and I really, really like it. So on to the next organizational hack is if you have a lot of like vitamins or medicine that you may keep in your bathroom but you don't have like a medicine cabinet, um, my husband has all these daggone vitamins and what I decided to do was just grab a basket from the Dollar Tree and just organize it in there and even though they are just sitting in the basket, it makes it look so much more organized for some reason. The next hack is grab one of these storage cubes um, from the Dollar Tree and you can use them to store toilet paper um, in case you run out so that way you don't have to like worry call someone in to get you some more toilet paper it'll just be right there and the Dollar Tree actually has good quality toilet paper um, you only get about four rolls but it's a dollar and they don't scrape your behind. <laughs> The last and final tip that I have for you guys is grab some Dollar Tree washcloths. They have Dove soap and also if you grab like travel size containers, you can store some of your in shower products. Um, like I decided to store my in shower body lotion in these travel size containers and it just made it look so sleek and nice and um i just really recommend it because they take up less space and they just look nicer And here I just want to show you how everything turned out. Like I said, you guys can get so much, you know, nice organizational and home decor on a budget. And why not? Why spend all that money if you don't have to um, just to get the same type of look? And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and to all my subscribers who watch my videos and comments and just, you know, uplift me and leave positive comments and things. I really do appreciate it and I really do appreciate you guys taking the time out to even watch my video. Yeah, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up because it allows YouTube to know that you guys are enjoying my content. And also leave me a comment down below letting me know of other DIYs you would like to see from me. And um, also let me know if you're excited for the um, vanity DIY makeover from the Dollar Tree. I hope you guys are excited about that. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe. Like, it's free. Why not? If you enjoyed this video, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be putting out more videos that you'll enjoy as well. So please go subscribe. It's free and I would have really appreciate it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.